With the Excel Timeline template from Vertex 42, it's very easy to create timelines for historical events, genealogy, projects, or even medical histories. I will demonstrate creating a timeline of the events in someone's life, using my ancestor Vernon as an example. First, you can update the title of your timeline. After that, you can clear out the sample data that we have included and then you can change the span of years that your timeline will cover by right clicking on the x-axis and say format axis. Then you'll just change the minimum and maximum values to what you want your timeline to show. Once you're done with that you can start inserting the events themselves and you'll just do that by typing in the year, the month, and the day of your event and then the title of it and you'll do that with as many events as you have and I'll just paste some in so you don't have to watch me type out the title. Then once you have all of the events then you can start styling the sheet. So first you can update some of the label locations and the way you'll do that is just with this height column. You can insert any number between negative 100 and 100. You can also move one manually if it's getting blocked by something and you can style these if you want some of them to stand out in a certain way then you can just click on the actual data label and then style as you normally would in Excel. One of my favorite features about this timeline is you can display photos instead of the markers. So what you'll do is you'll click on the actual data point that you want to update, right click and say format data point, then you'll click this fill in line bucket and then under the marker tab you'll change the fill. You'll choose picture or texture fill and then just insert a picture from the file and navigate to the picture on your computer that you want to show. Then once it's inserted you can come to marker options and change the shape and the size of your marker and you can add as many different photos as you'd like. If you want to print this when you're done then you'll just come to file and say print and make sure you've selected print selected chart that will print the whole sheet on one piece of paper then if you want to copy it then you'll just right click and say copy as you normally would and then when you paste it this will be a little different you'll come to paste but under paste options you'll choose this one that's insert as picture and then this whole timeline will just be a single image that you can use in any application. So that's an overview of how to use the Excel timeline template from Vertex 42. We have different sheets in this template. We have example one that looks very similar to the one we just created. Example two has more pictures and a background color as well. And then the project tab is aimed for work projects and it's structured a little differently you'll see that the date can be inserted as a date as a whole, anything after 1900, instead of putting in the month, year, and day separately. And then you can also show the duration of how long you expect a certain task to take, as well as what percent of it is already completed. If you have a complicated project, I would recommend checking out the Gantt chart that we have, but this timeline is very useful for showing the milestones that you're wanting to reach. I hope that this overview of the Vertex 42 timeline template has been helpful and please feel free to contact us if you have any questions about how to use it.